Okay, we do need to be able to solve quadratics as well as linear equations. So I'm going to deal with just the easy ones today. Okay, the easy ones come when the quadratic is already factorised. So if you've got x plus 3, x minus 2 equals 0. Now this is the most important thing, guys. We need to always check that our quadratics equal 0. All right, so that's our first check. All right, so if we've got two factors that are equal to zero, then that puts us in the situation of having two numbers that multiply together to give zero. So what can you think of that multiplies together to give zero? Yeah, zero and anything. So if this is zero or if this is zero, then the answer will be zero because zero times anything is zero. All right, and these two factors are multiplied together. So that means that if this solves to zero, or this solves to zero, we have found out what x can be. So we get two answers for this. One is x plus 3 equals 0. Take away 3 from both sides. All right, take away 3, take away 3. Therefore, we get minus 3. Or plus 2, plus 2, we get x equals 2. So our answers for this question is either x is negative 3 or x is 2. Okay, can't be both because it can only be one thing at a time. Right, so we might have another example. something like this, all right? So what happens then is that we've, again, got to have one or the other equal to zero. So we've got this one, 2x plus 7 equals zero, or 3x minus 2 equals zero. So a bit tricky because we've got, we've got to solve this, um, an equation. 2x equals negative 7, take away 7 from both sides, or 3x equals 2, add 2 to both sides. All right now we've got two x's equal to that, but we're only the answer after the answer ever for x. So we need to get rid of this two. X equals we're going to divide by two, all right? Divide by two. That means that it goes to the bottom, negative seven, all right? When we move it to the other side, it either goes to the bottom of the heap or the back of the line. So this one will be two over three. So our answers here are negative seven over two or two thirds. Now, one other thing that can happen is this. This is still the same situation, guys. It's this times this. So it's either x equals 0, done, or x plus 7 equals 0. So x equals, take away 7 from both sides, minus 7. All right, so watch for this one. Okay? 